young scholar and he told them amongst other things Kun fi dunya ka'annaka gharib aw abiru sabil Kun fi dunya ka'annaka gharib aw abiru sabil Be in this world like a traveler a stranger or a wayfarer who's traveling and is looking forward his destination to reach and he also said take from your healthy to your sickness save huh, from your huh, healthy times to the times when you are ill and from the times you're rich to the times when you are poor and in need and take from your life towards your uh, end to the hereafter means save as much to your end uh, disembarkment or the destination my dear brothers and sisters the smart person who takes the lessons from this hadith the Prophet وسلم, is telling us in this world we are most like travelers a traveler is always looking for their his or her destination the final destination if you're traveling from here to Jeddah or Tabuk in a two or three or four hours trip and you're gonna spend two or three years in there your main focus will be on the destination you're not gonna take huh, hundreds and hundreds or loads of supply to the two hours trip you're gonna be more concerned of the time you're gonna spend longest at your destination a person who's taking a two-hour flight to his or her destination is very unlikely to carry kitchen utensils and bath requirements and uh, living room and 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 they would only take a bottle of water and a sandwich for the uh, road and they will take most to their destination and this is what the Prophet وسلم, is turning our attention to is don't be taken by this world don't let this world deceive you this world is a temporary place but Allah made it very important for your destination it's whatever you prepare now will decide your destiny so do your best now keeping your eyes and focus on your end destination just like the story of Qarun Qarun was one of the followers of Musa one of the people of uh, of people of children Qarun inna Qaruna kana min qawmi Musa Qarun was of the people of Musa's but he transgressed he went beyond the limits because Allah gave him a lot of wealth and he was uh, fooled by this wealth when people used to tell him oh Qarun give the zakah huh? give the needy or the poor or use your wealth in the proper way he's saying this is my wealth I got it my own way I spent the time huh? don't overjoy Allah gave you this wealth and he wants to see you enjoying it but also doing the right thing don't be too stingy huh? and when he faced his end the people started taking lessons we shouldn't be of those who will only take the lesson after we see the end we should always take the lessons from other people the Prophet وسلم, once was talking also to Sa'd one of his great companions uh, or Abdul Rahman ibn Awf sorry and he said oh Abdul Rahman what do you think when the time comes 
and you will uh, own Rome and Persia the treasures of Rome and Persia will be in your hands O Muslims you will conquer that land you will own all these lands so he said we will only say what the Allah told us to say he said anything else oh will there anything else be he said no the Prophet sallallahu said I'm not worried about you facing poverty it's not poverty that I'm worried about you it's not that you have less I'm worried that the treasures of this world will be in your hands and then you will start competing to collect more and more of the wealth so the person who has a hundred in the bank account is looking for the other hundred or the other million and so on you have a 500 meet, square meter land you're looking for the other 5,000 and you will never stop and it captures your hearts so I'm worried that this world will open up for you and you start competing to collect it uh, endlessly and then it will not stop there's nothing wrong to compete to collect but what's wrong is what's coming you will envy one another the hasadu you will start envying one another look at what he has I don't have as much you will envy one another and then you will start hating one another and then you will start animosity amongst yourselves and you start shedding the blood of one another for this world this is what the Prophet ﷺ warned us he's worried about this time that we will start huh, competing and envying and hating one another for this world instead of using this world as a tool to build up our hereafter to make it a better place to live and a better place to move to the hereafter we start fighting one another huh, for the sake of the booty of this world the treasures of this world so instead of being in our hands it starts being in our hearts capturing our hearts this is what the Prophet ﷺ warned us in fact my brothers and sisters the nature of this world is so strange that people want it when they don't have it and once you have it it's no longer attractive huh? you wish for the best car and once you own this car after some time it's becoming normal right and you no longer wash it every day and no longer you know and take care of it like you did before and the same thing you apply it to everything we love it when we don't have it and once we have it it becomes normal and we start looking for more what sort of life is that this is the nature of this world Allah made it as such huh? so the smart one is looking for the ones that staying the eternal life uh, the reward that will stay with us and the things in this world is not going to stay with us in fact we will leave it and it might leave us before we leave it you know how it works if, it, if a person is rich one day he's or she will leave all this behind and leave this world or else before that <laughs> money will leave them and they will become poor does it happen or not of course it does happen in this world no nation no one will always be rich huh? sometimes we are rich sometimes we are poor sometimes I'm healthy sometimes I'm sick right this is the nature of this world and we need to realize that there is a place where things will not change and Allah told us that is the hereafter which Allah created us for Allah created you for paradise but you work for it that place there is no change you are healthy and wealthy and well off and happy all the time this world is a mix of all of that even a person who's always rich in this world who's always healthy and has never had a bad day in this world in the hereafter if they see the calamities of the hereafter and if that if they 
be in touch with uh, the punishment in the hereafter will be asked have you seen a good day in your life say wallahi I have never seen a good day in fact they haven't seen a bad day in this world once they taste the torment of the hereafter the punishment they forget all of that like uh, verse, uh, contrary to that a person who was the most miserable in this world maybe the poorest or the illest once they uh, enter the paradise the moment they are uh, entering paradise will be asked have you seen a bad day or a bad moment in your uh, whole life la wallahi by, uh, we swear by Allah we haven't seen a bad moment a person who was most miserable in this world prepare well for the hereafter this world is beautiful is great to build it to make it a good place to live but not the everlasting it's not staying with us we are not staying with it we will leave it one day to our home your home is there Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling us to build things there so make use of everything you have now to build your place the Prophet said Khud min, uh, li uh, save from your good days from your health to the time when you need it from your money to the time you need it transfer it to the currency needed over there you know, to the currency recognized in the hereafter make as much of hasanat use the things Allah gave you use the money the health the time the smartness your your authority which many people misuse nowadays uh, don't use these things to spread hatred amongst people uh, to spread uh, misery in the world uh, in the neighborhoods use your time use everything possible uh, to build your place in paradise and you know what you do one hasana Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will multiply it ten times that means uh, you will not be short of anything our time is short in this world but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is generous so anything you make will be multiplied that once you reach there you will find it ready for you you'll find your uh, your gardens your palaces your wealth your everything ready for you with the blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so in, in in summary this world is not a place to stay this is not something uh, to stop here it's a temporary transit place as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like a traveler the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said be like a traveler and one of the prophets was asked describe this world to us he said I'm just like a traveler who passed by a tree took the shade and then went on in the journey so it's just the time you take the shade and go and complete your journey make this world like that take the shade the beautiful shade of this world and then continue your journey but be equipped huh? don't consume all your goods and things in your uh, ten temporary transit place make sure you keep some savings uh, to your destination in fact keep the most of your savings to your destination which will be the paradise Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this land safe and peaceful and all the Muslim lands. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa salli lahumma wa barik ala Muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.